a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, comment allez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate you. Grab one problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done the gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it generational thank you you are, seminars, thank so you so much appreciate it yes sir now tom o'brien <laughs> welcome folks this is tom o'brien of tfnn we got five days a week we go seven hours a day we go 24 hours a day in the internet at tfnn.com always remember folks whatever you think about you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF Friday. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. This is a cool card, folks. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 154, NASDAQ down 13, SP's up 11. Gold, gold contract down $12.20, trading at 1765 an ounce. We got silver down 4 cents, 21 dollars 12 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 80, $79.84 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 10 ticks, trading 112.10, 30 year down 12 ticks at 125.15 and King Dollar. King dollar's up 205 ticks, trading 106.897. The euro's at 103. The yen is trading at 140.31. The British pound is at 118 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a sideways market, you're going to have light volume. That's what building cause is all about, folks. It's going to get, this is going to get interesting here because... We have the ABC structure up, confirmed ABC up to 411, 03. You know, we hit 402 on Monday, Tuesday rather. And you can see you're messing around here with light volume. So this is telling me that next week we're still going to consolidate. And, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be full days. People will be splitting on Wednesday big time. Markets close Thursday. You get a half a day on Friday. So you can push this market anywhere they want to push it. That's the real bottom line. When all said and done, you know, my take is that this ABC structure is going to finish on the way up. Somehow, some way, man. That's the bottom line. That's my bottom line. <laughs> and if we take a look at the Qs, what you have with the Qs out here, what the Qs are doing, also light volume. And you can see, it, it, this is the, the, the Qs are actually saying that you're going to pull back a little because what you have here, this is what you actually didn't want. Yesterday, you know, we came down with... You had an expansion of volume, but it was still light volume because it was 55 million going against 66 million going into 90. Now you try to go higher into 39. That doesn't fly. Now what will happen is this is option expiration, so we'll get volume in at the close. So that might just that might change that. It very well could change it. We'll see how that shakes out um, because that can put 20 million in pretty easy, and then it'd be in good shape. Because if you if we're in there with 59 million, that'd be in good shape. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market because what you have with the note and bond market, the note and bond market also look to me, like, and there's some divergences, because that, that looks to me like it wants to do a counter trend bounce also, meaning it wants to go to higher price, lower yield. So what we have out here today, you're pulling back. Yeah, look at this, man. See, you're pulling back with 970,000 contracts. This is setting up a small ABC up. That's what it's doing. Yeah, and you're going into 2.5 million contracts and 1.4 million contracts. There's no sellers, man. So that's telling me we're setting a small ABC structure up. And then if we do go over to the currency market, what we have out here in the currency market is the dollar, okay? Bottom line, the way this is set up right now um, is that this dollar, you know, wants higher price. You know, so if the dollar wants higher price, this is where you can get the pullback. 
The pullbacks are done light of volume, it's fine, you know. And right now, the benchmark, so the benchmark is this 106,281, and it's over. It's the second day it's over. So that's saying that the dollar more than likely wants to run to this 108,672 mark. If we go to the gold contract, let's go to the silver contract, rather. Take a look at silver. Silver right now is trading down four cents. You get 43,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. And yeah, that's coming into big volume. So what we have is silver, you know, you're coming into 112,000 contracts, 95,000 contracts, and you only have 43,000 contracts. So. You know, we're in a consolidation, and we'll see where this baby goes. Let's go to Dan in Los Angeles. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Hey, Hello. Tom. How you doing? Nice to talk to you again after long two months, maybe. Cool. What do you, what yeah, do you, what two, do you want to look at? Why? Why does I bought, uh, like you said, like um, buy some at 365, something like that, in my IRA account. So now everybody's talking about uh, bullish or 4100 or 40, yeah, 400, 411. I heard you were mentioning. So, so you, I okay, have like 50% so left uh, buy uh, position from 365 to now 400. I sold 50%. Should I hold rest of them for 410 like that? As okay, you so, were referring. Uh, can you just tell, wh what did you buy? What? Oh. Are we talking the spy? Uh, yeah, the spy. I, okay. I'm an uh, investor uh, in uh, IRA, uh, usually okay. Roth IRA. I I buy and hold it. Stay right there, man. Stay right there. This, I I would hold it. I mean, I think this 411 is game. You know, you're pulling back with light volume. This is a good setup. So don't sell it right now. What did you buy it at? How, what price did you buy it at? 365. Good. Okay. Uh, back in September. Okay. Good. Yeah. So I just hold on. Okay. Is that what your so question is? Okay. I will. I will hold on. I sold like uh, at 400 on Monday. Uh, 50 okay. percent, but 50 percent left. That's all right. Uh, so there you get a good profit. That's good, man. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So second question is. Apple and Tesla. So Apple also I bought like 150 for now. It's not doing uh, great. It's like just a one dollar. Uh, but uh, Tesla is underwater. I bought it at 200, uh, two something like that. So what should I do with Tesla? Tesla. Let's look at this. So we're at. Don't let this get under this. See, see, are you watching Tiger TV right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't let this get under this 177, man. Yeah, this is dangerous. Tesla's dangerous. Maybe you just want to move it out, man. Take the take the beat because I don't like what Tesla okay. looks like. And you know, fundamentally, you know that he's not spending his time at Tesla. That's for sure. Do you know what I mean? Okay, got it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, man. You have a great one. A safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNet over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 130. Nasdaq's down 22. S&P's are... Uh, Dow is up 130. Dow's... Nasdaq's down 21. S&P are up 8.5. Let's go to GFI, Goldfields, and take a look at Joe Goldfields out here. So Goldfields right now is trading down 20 cents, and the Tiger is telling me this huge volume, and there is. Look at this. Well, actually, no. Oh, yesterday we had nine million. Today it's only five million. Um, yeah, no, this is just pulling back with light volume. You know, it looks to me the way. Uh, let's pull up a few of these goals because that, that's this is because of the expansion of the way up. You know, you're pulling back. You're pulling back with light volume. You know, if we go to uh, AEM next, and then an Eco Eagle. I mean, well, this is an Eco Eagle, and then we'll go to Angle, uh, Angle Ashante. Um, so you got an eco eagle. This is this is kind of a, this is interesting actually because yeah, this is still set once. This is not done. It's up forty six cents, but this is not done basically going down because you don't want to see this. See, see, I was going up today in light volume. See, it was pulling back with light volume. That's what you want to see. And then if we go to Anglo Ashante, that's pulling back with light volume also. But the way these are set up. You can see these, I mean, yesterday, you can see what happened. You had 2.2 million, today's only 1.4, but the gap's not filled. That gap is at uh, 1671. You got the 1692 today, so that's telling me that gap's going to get filled. And, you know, th these, are, th these are all a little bit tricky right now, meaning, and the, and the aspect of, um, you know, because of the expansion, it was so quick. Because it was, because the, the real question is, is like, how far does it want to pull back? If we go to Barrick, Gold, we take a look at Barrick. What the heck are you watching CNBC for, Dan? Oh my God. <laughs> um, anyway, if, you, if we take a look at Barrick, okay, the way the way the Barrick's set up is that same type of setup, meaning we, we went upside with 37 million. Uh, right now, this is, yeah, it's pulling back with 15 million and 11 million. The, the, the kicker, I'm only kidding, by the way, Dan. The kicker, okay, is that when you do pull back with light volume, the real key is, is that, okay, where is it going to stop and how far is it going to go down? You know, the cool news is, is that most of the time, you know, when this volume is so short, they're setting up ABC structures on the way up. And my take is that the U.S. dollar 
does want to do a counter trend bounce. So that would totally make sense. If that wants to do a counter trend bounce, get up to that 108, the 281 area. Uh, bottom line is that these all should basically set up pretty, pretty nice in, in, a, in a huge way. Let's go take a look at some of the high of oil. Actually, let's go look at oil first. Because there's no doubt CL oil is going after the lower end of the consolidation. So the lower end of this consolidation is 75.70. We hit 77.24 today. Let's just see what we have volume wise here. Okay, so we're rolling this contract too. You got no volume. So CLG, CL. So we put this on a continuous contract. And we put this. Yeah, I, th you know, the way this oil looks to me that it wants to break 76.25. And if we do break this, you can have a monster ABC down, which would be really wild. 123. You got. That would be wild, man, because this would be, you know, saying if you get an ABC down, you're talking about $50 oil. But that's how it looks. You know, we'll see how it, it, you can see this is a straight line move, man. You know. You get a straight line move from the top. You get the consolidation going sideways. It drives everyone out of their mind the last eight weeks. And you're going after the, and you didn't hit, you see, you didn't hit the B point this week. So we'll see what ends up happening next week, but that's how that baby's set up. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today, you have uh, Tesla's down 340. You got uh, NVIDIA down 350. Um... What else is moving? Google's up. Uh, no, Google's down a buck and a half. You get Cisco up a buck. Coinbase is down 374. Let's go to Coinbase because <laughs> there. What's going on now, folks? Okay, so Coinbase, the low for the year is forty dollars and eighty three cents. The high is three hundred forty four dollars and eighty three cents. The yeah, they're going to lose two dollars and fourteen cents this quarter. Now, next, listen to this, man. Yeah, this is wild. See, because okay, so next year, this year, folks, they plan on losing um, nine dollars and eighty-two cents. <laughs> oh my God, that's almost two billion dollars that they plan on losing this year. Two billion, and then next year, they plan on losing. A billion. <laughs> They're going to lose 496. So, and what has happened is this: um, the the amount of traders now that are just going after anything and everything, um, you know, that has anything to do with crypto exchanges. They're selling the heck out of the men because I think. You know, folks really understand that the whole game is up. I mean, in a, in a monster way, not in a small way. You know, because now, you, you know what I was thinking? This is, this is what's really wild, too. Think about this, folks. One of the reasons that this guy could get away with it, it was a lot of reasons, but I think one of the big reasons was this, that if you were not on crypto exchanges, and a lot of professionals weren't, you don't understand like what they were giving away and what they were giving away is they were giving away interest of like eight percent to twelve percent in a zero percent environment <laughs> i mean it's just as easy as that if someone's giving you you know that type of percentage in a zero environment and there's no collateral, that's even crazy, right? So you know at some point, the bottom line is that, you know, that it'd have to be the give up. I mean, I, my understanding of the average was like 12 to 14 to 16%. It's like, okay, how, how long? <laughs> and, and, and what were they doing with that money? That's the real question. And what they were doing with the money 
is that there were other platforms that were giving more money. So, some of them were just outrageous. And of course, what ended up happening there is that if you got the money, that's great. But then when you didn't get the money, you know, the bottom line, you lost the whole ball of wax. So now what's going on is that anything and everything that has to do with inside of that, shots are actually looking for who is exposed to that market. Because when you actually look at what's going on right now, if you saw this, you know, David Rubenstein, if you, you Google this, David Rubenstein did a uh, interview with him in August, folks. And, and when you listen to this, man, you, you know, if you listen to it in August, you know that, hey, this is a scam, period. You know what I mean? You just couldn't answer simple questions. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up a buck 80. You get the NASDAQ uh, down one. S&Ps are up 16. And yeah, we have option expiration out here today, folks. And uh, you know, that, that'll, that's going to throw some volume in the marketplace. Right now, volume wise, we have uh, shot volume, 477 million. And then on the composite, we have uh, 3.1. So you got really shot volume. And what does what is interesting also, folks, is that you got to remember, like years ago, you only had option expiration the third Friday of every month. Now, options expire every week. And, you know, people that trade options, they trade them every week. So it's not like you have to just trade one month now, you know? And so, you know, we'll see where this volume goes, but I think there's volume just about every month. I mean, every week now, that's what, that's what it comes down to on Fridays. Because once you start trading options, you know, the bottom line is why not trade the weeklies? The weeklies are just as liquid as the monthlies. We take a look at some of the, inside the NDX 100, uh, raw stores, they got a, they got, you're talking about a pop upside, they're up 10%. Um, you got, 
Uh, Palo Alto, that's up uh, 7%. Mercado Libre is up 4%. And you got uh, Constellation Brands is up 3.5%. Uh, Taken away from it. NetEase is down 5%. You get Fortnite off 3.5. You get Datadog down 3.2. And DocuSign off 3.2. So let's go look at the raw stores first. Raw stores. You're getting some real divergence in these uh, retailers, man. So look at that move. Wow. And it was as high as 115. Okay, so let's put this on. Oh, I see. Yeah, this will be interesting. So look at this, folks. You know, we've talked so much about the, the pandemic high. And, and in this particular case, you know, what ended up happening is that the, the pandemic high was $84. This is in Ross, $84.34. The low was 63 So what does it do? It comes down to 69 As it hits 69 now, this is pretty cool. You want to look at this, okay? Because inside the out of time in the trade, we see this. And this is, this is a real subtle one. And, you know... Technical analysis, folks, is an art, not a science, okay? Some of the FIB numbers are a science, but the reality is, is that, you know, it's, it's, it's an art. So if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is this. See this? 55 million, and the low is 71. And then you have the low that was going after is 56. And the volume is 38. So what I've found is that when you come down and you come down with volume and you can't take out the swing, that's really positive. That's what I've found. And then, so in this particular one, it did come back and retest. Did it come back with 17 million versus 55 million? And it took uh, two months to come back and then took off like a rocket ship. And bottom line, there's no reason this can't go all the way back now to 134. Hmm, pretty wild, man. Uh, we take a look at the fundamental numbers inside here. So they did 18.9 billion. They brought four dollars and 87 cents to the bottom line. So what is going to happen? Let's go to TJ Maxx because th this this makes sense to me. You see how this this is an off let's see off price retail, you know, apparel and home accessories, right? Well, the, what's going to happen, TJ? Let me see TJ Maxx. TJ, is this still public? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go look at TJ Maxx because. TJ Maxx also should be, look something like this. There you go, man. Okay, so check this out. So if you take a look at TJ Maxx, same type of setup. And what this is, which is pretty amazing, is that if, you know, you have to go back years and years. And listen to this, folks. This is, this is a wild story. The Feldman brothers, I did business with them in 1980. 1980, okay? This is when I was in the airline business, right? And these guys really, yeah, they were great businessmen. They, they took care of me in a monster way. And I was there when they had just started TJ Maxx. And then they had, there was another, was, they ended up buying Marshalls. They didn't stop Marshalls. But anyway, to make a long story short, when I would be, I'd be waiting for Mr. Feldman, who was the CEO, and, and, <laughs> he'd put me in the he'd put me in the middle, but he put me in these meetings, man. I'd hear all these people going back and forth. This is going to be the new deal, the whole ball, and it was. It, it actually was. It, it turned into a monster deal. So my point is, is this: what's going to happen? And see, yeah, this is amazing how it does happen. Is that when they first started? If you remember going into the TJ Maxx and the Marshalls, that they always had like great brand name clothes at very inexpensive prices. I still, I actually still have a leather jacket that I probably bought there 20 years ago. And it's like a big brand leather jacket. And you know, I forget what it was, but it's like, you're talking about instead of paying like $300, you pay 150. It's that dramatic. Well, what's happening, and you can see it by Ross, and you can see it by TJ Max also, is that they're gonna have so much inventory of great clothes that the dynamic has changed again because they had that when they started then all of a sudden they just kind of had the same type of stuff and because of the fact that a lot of the large retailers ordered too much 
they're getting more, so that then the price has, it's, it's a price conscious with a great value. And, you know, we're going to see more of that. I mean, more discount stores are going to be where it's at because I suspect, you know, with inflation and, you know, jobs starting to cut back and people getting more concerned, because this is a psychological deal, too. Infl inflation itself, you know, bottom line, once it's into the system, it's definitely a psychological deal because it's like, okay, hold it. Everyone's going to go up. I got to go up my prices first. Because if it gets too late, then you can't go up in your prices, right? Okay, so it's, it's one of those deals. It's the perception of where inflation is going to go that really drives inflation once it's into the, the system. So the other side of that, the same thing happens. And people say, hey, man, if I can get the same thing at a TJ Maxx or a Ross, why should I go pay, you know, double the price? You know, so, I mean, that's, that's how, that's, that's why you see that differential in those charts in a monster way, too. Let's go take a look at uh, Amazon and Google. Uh, Amazon came out last night, um, you know, and he was saying that, uh, you know, the first 10,000 jobs went. But he was uh, bottom line saying that, hey, this is going to, yeah, here it is right here. He's going to continue. Uh, the chief executive, uh, Andy Jazzy, said that the e-commerce e giant is going to continue cutting jobs into 2023. You know, bottom line is that he's, he's going to be digging into the things that haven't been working and that, that totally makes sense because the, the bottom line, when things are going well, you keep throwing money at everything. I mean, that's how you're supposed to do it. And you're so busy that you really can't keep up with everything. Then as soon as they slow down, if you can pull those reins in as quick as you can pull those reins in, you start cutting everything, whether you have to or not, by the way. That's, 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 a, that's a good manager. Whether you're not, you do, whether you have to or not, you start cutting, you start pulling back because everyone has waste, you know. And the bigger you have, the bigger you get, the more waste you have. That's just how it goes, man. You know, that's that's the, that's the story. Let's go take a look at Google out here. Oh, actually, I want to go look at Microsoft because what happened out here this morning when Tommy was on is that as soon as the market opened, Microsoft dove four dollars. That's why I saw that NQ go down so fast. Oh, they uh, I guess from the high to the low. Yeah, it did. From the high to the low, it's down four dollars, man. It's all right now. But that's why you saw those cues get out so fast. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. All green. Here we go. Dow of 215, Nasdaq up 12, S&P's up uh, 21. Let's be take a let's go over the E-minis and take a look at these. Okay, so we had a low today of uh, 39.42 with 36 points off that low. And you get some volume here, man. Look at it. Yeah. Last two buys. 10, 20 minutes ago, you had 20, yeah, 24,000 contracts. Last one, 28,000. Now you're going against that big downdraft, but the bottom of that downdraft is uh, 39.72. Your 39.77 doesn't mean you can't run right into it. You got just, you, you love it. Uh, the volatility has been amazing anyway. But, but you know what's wild is that if someone didn't look at the market this morning and just came back after the close, it's going to look like it just opened. Let's go to the NQs and take a look at the NQs. You can still see the NQs are less, uh, they're weaker because the NQs haven't gotten to the big bar yet. So the big bar on the NQs is 747. You're at 721. Look at that. You're getting, they're getting volume in them. You know, bottom line, we had volume in them, but this is so intriguing, man. Like, you really want to wrap your head around this correlation, folks, okay? Um, because of the fact that the, when you're looking to either go long or short, you want to take that into consideration. So what we did in the NQs just now is that we just did a 50% retracement of the whole move down this morning. And if we go to the E-mini, we're probably at a 0.618. There we go. Oh, so here we go. So look at this, man. We actually went over a 0.618. So when you go over a 0.618, you know, it says you can go to you can go do a one to one. I mean, that that's how that thing is set up. So we'll see how it shakes out. But that's saying that, you know, we can come all the way back top side, you know. And then if we take a look at it, now this is where it's going to get dicey if we do finish at highs. Because the volume better come in. But see what's going on now. Hey, we'll see what happens. You know, it's still 15 minutes is a long way in option expiration, so maybe we'll get it. But if we don't get that volume and we all got the higher prices, then that's not cool. That's just, that's just saying that this dollar is going to rally Sunday night, you know. Because what I suspect what you're going to see here is that if we get the rally on Sunday night, then what you're going to have is that, more than likely, you're going to get a weaker market Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then see if they can really jam it on Friday. <laughs> you know, I've told the story a thousand times, but I'm going to tell it again because I tell it just about every Thanksgiving. The most, well, it wouldn't be the, yeah, it wasn't the most volatile day. What it was is this. I think this goes back, this goes back to like 1996. Might have been 96. And what happened is that, no matter what stock 
you bought. This was on Friday after Thanksgiving, right? And I'll just, I'll never forget this because it was like just unbelievable, man. And we were day trading a lot then. They, well, the, I mean, 50, 60, 70 trades a day. And at that point, that's when you were still doing a, it was a, a 16th, an eighth, a quarter, you know, spreads, all right? And no matter what stock you hit the button with, folks, okay, you were making money. And so what, so picture this, the market closed at 12, I believe, right? So what ended up happening, as soon as everyone started catching on to it, and I'm talking about probably the whole, whoever's trading in the United States, everyone just started hitting buttons. And the, the market exploded, man. I mean, it didn't, it didn't matter what you buy, the, the, the bottom line was going up. You know, we were clean at the end of the day, we were flat. And then on Monday, it tanked beyond belief. I mean, it was it was like crazy. They both days were crazy. Yeah. So what I but I what I got to learn there. The point of this story. What I got to learn there is that the day after Thanksgiving, you know, if you want to work, be in front of the you know thing for four or five hours, because if you're going to have a day like that, you know, when you get a trend that's that amazing, you want to be on that trend and then get out. But that's my point. And it, we'll see when you get something like that, it starts right at the beginning of the day, too. It just doesn't, you know, I've seen, well, two Fridays ago we had that, right? But the, you get the point. You know, you can push it wherever you want to push it. Uh, if we go over to the Dow Industrials, you know, it's pretty wild looking at the Dow because the Dow is right next to its swing point again. You know, the, the high of the last six months, well, here, the low of the high is 33,852. And... We hit 30,000, 38,827 today. So, yeah, 852. So this, you know, this is the strongest indice. There's no doubt about that. And if this does get up to the highs, then, you know, the bottom line is that these other indices are not only going to want to go higher. The real question is, is that after they finish that ABC structure up, the S&Ps, does that also want to go to the top of the range? You know, my, my take is that um, looking at it, let me put this up. I'm going to put this ABC up again. I suspect that we can get to, let's put this on a monthly, one second. There we go. Is it the, it's the monthly ABC. So the monthly ABC, yeah, see this? The monthly ABC is 431 inside the SPY. So that means that we'd actually have enough time now watch this. This is crazy. You'd have enough time to do a 411. You back down it again. You do another ABC up to the 431. Time-wise, what happens is that that gets you somewhere around Christmas. And then what ends up happening is that the bottom line is that you get you well, we get a pullback again. You know, because at that particular point, you know. Folks are going to start understanding that the Fed is not going to stop raising rates. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. What, what has happened, there was, a, there was a great, I saw a great headline uh, coming across last night. And what it was, it says, you know, why is the aspect that it's don't fight the Fed when things are going down and you want to be bullish, and now... Interest rates are going up, but, you know, everyone that says don't fight the Fed, they're, well, they're fighting the Fed. <laughs> and don't fight the Fed, folks. That's the bottom line. If, you, if you've been in this market the last 15 years, you're going to realize that you don't want to fight the Fed because the least amount that money costs, meaning our signature, the more that folks are going to buy things. Stat cut and dry, and we can see it. Um, there's no doubt. And then, I know Tommy was talking about this this morning. Did you see, now this one here, this is not illegal, but the bottom line is that you talk about shaky, man, that uh, son, um, you know, and his funds, well, he personally owns, owes OWES, one of his funds, $4.5 billion. <laughs> now, that's always been filed, but guess what? When the, when the market goes out, this is when, you know, the whole deal is no one has a bathing suit on. You find out who doesn't have a bathing suit on. And now, of course, that just, it's like, okay, do you have 4.5 billion? You know, they're claiming he has like 10 or 12 billion, but when you look at that chart, the, the fund had 50 billion, and then 
all the companies that are in the fund, they really didn't have 50 billion because they, they were marking them themselves. Now that, that's in a negative 200 million. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow uh, up about 153, NASDAQ down 7, S&P's uh, up 13. Now, check this out, man. This is never going to stop on this uh, Bankman Freed. Um, so... When they raised $420 million in October of 2021, so a year ago, right? This is, this is coming from the, you know, the guy that's going through the books right now. This is unbelievable, man. These people that, got, that, raised this, that, that gave them the money is going to go out of their mind. Left unmentioned was that three quarters of the money, $300 million, went to the founder. <laughs> this is sick, man. Um, and he claimed that, yeah, he sold... A personal stake in the in the company. Now they're, they're trying to find out where the three hundred million is now. But the, can you imagine? You don't raise money, folks, from investors. And well, you can take it out as a personal stake, but you have to tell them you're taking out as a personal stake. And I don't think there's many people that are going to give you four hundred twenty million if you're going to take out three hundred million. That's not that's not how raising money works. But you know, each and every day we're going to find out something different. And you know. This guy is, is something else, man. I mean, it's just something else. If we take a look at the marketplace out here, let's see where these volumes are coming in. So we'll start getting some juice in there right now. And, yeah, it's still light volume. So it's all going to come in at the end, I guess, if it comes in at all. Right now, you're on the composite, you're at 3.4 million, uh, billion, rather. If we take this and we put this on the, let's go see. 
where this is shaking out right now. Yeah, you don't want light volume today. If you have light volume today, then Monday, Tuesday, we're pulling back. That's how this thing is set up. The dollar is above that uh, benchmark. So the longer, as I said, the longer that it stays above it, yeah, this dollar wants to go higher. You have, you're, only, you're only up a shot amount, but you're in the higher range. That, you know, anytime you're back inside this 106, 281 is saying that, yeah, you can make that run to 108, 281, you know? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy. Monday morning kicks us off 9 a.m. We'll get him, folks.